Welcome to a brand new episode of Filmy Talk. Well, we have a very celebrated figure from the Malayala film industry today here with us, and it's none other than Shankar Ramakrishnan. We all know him as a scriptwriter, director, and actor, and it's a privilege to welcome him onto our show. Shankar sir, welcome to Filmy Talk. Now the first thing that we notice about this movie is of course the title. Now the title is Ende Satya Nishna Parikshagar and what we uh, rem this title reminds us of is the autobiography of Mahatma Gandhi which is my story of experiments with truth. So why have you chosen this title for the movie? Tell us about it please. You can't call it experiments but then uh, it's like uh, so we used to have at a point of time a uh, lot of uh, methods to understand uh, whether one person is lying or not like that's mm. that's basically called satya pariksha and basically the film revolves around uh, the judicial system and uh, the lives around uh, the judici judiciary and court and stuff like that so before a particular uh, period of time like uh, before the penal code was established and the uh, proper judicial uh, judiciary came into form in this country we used to have a as you know we used to have a uh, Uh, a system where in the king's court used to decide or uh, a group of people a council of people used to decide whether a person is guilty or not guilty so personally uh, if you want to prove that you are not guilty you have to go through this process mm -hmm. uh, which will uh, sound little bit you know like very wild like making you uh, dip your hands in this boiling oil or making a, a ferocious uh, a snake i you know like bite you and then it it should not affect you like if it is if you're lying then you will die if you're not lying you will so we used to have mostly it was based on certain temples and maybe some religious institutions would uh, handle this kind of satya parikshas so after a point of time uh when a proper judiciary was established we used to have a we still have this system where a uh, person is interrogated goes goes through this process and stuff like that but the the reason why i named uh this film and the satya nivishna parikshal is that each one of us at different points of our lives we go through certain situations where we ourselves understand whether we are uh, true or not so the thing is that the decisions when you uh, decide to resign your job and go for your aspiration maybe when you face a girl and propose to her or when you face a situation where you don't want to lose anything very very dear to you so there are situations in each and every every one of us where we constantly go through this process of self evaluation and analysis so this film talks about a group of people uh, <clears throat> who are uh, posed with questions like and the answer for which can alter the their lives and the lives of people around them. so people normally who take up social cause um they tend to do this major decision mm -hmm. to overcome the personal material uh, thought and give up their comfort zone get into this dangerous zone and live that edge to find out the real truth so if you, if you actually look into history or look into the society around we can see a lot of people who are well placed in life risk that situation to get into this edge to to do that extra thing mm -hmm. which might add on to the total benevolence of the society you know, total effect of the progress which happens in the society so this film is a uh, title because of you gave us a very good explanation for why you chose the title now why did you select uh, siraj to do the you know siraj sir we have to say because he has won the national award and everything why a comedian as the lead actor of your movie i think you've answered the question because you told that suraj is when i when i cast suraj uh, see there is nothing such as a lead actor or actress in my movie mm -hmm. the film has a bunch of characters and suraj is doing a very prominent role in the film okay. so when i cast suraj this question would have been relevant 2 years before yes. when the, the whole process started but right now the whole of india and uh, if i'm not mistaken people outside india including all of our major actors like all the celebrated actors i i was with the uh, with the person when he got the award so i could see all the seniors in our industry used to call him up and congratulate him for his achievement but then you know like sometimes 
I come from a school, you know, which is focusing on uh, an actor as a person and also uh, trying to find out what what an actor can do given an opportunity. So basically it's about a bunch of characters mm -hmm. who are integral to the film, who are integral to the subject. Suraj for me, basically I've never worked with Suraj before uh, I started this movie. Even though I've been in the industry for the last uh, maybe 10 years and Suraj also has been in there. A uh, couple of times we have had very small associations like in the movie a Rock and Roll where he played a small cameo appearance and also in the movie Spirit and that was after ESP but then these two associations did, did, did not actually attribute much to our friendship but then a character like this when it came up and I bounced to him it was the attitude of this person which kind of uh, uh, inspired me to fix on that choice. And we do have Rahman and Maidili playing prominent roles, like I said. So, this is this supposed to be Rahman's uh, comeback movie? It's not because Rahman has been there uh, from, uh, uh, from for the last 28 years. He is still holding a big uh, space in the mind of people who still love the cinema of 80s. And uh, I think uh, Rahman as an actor uh, is unparalleled in in the aspect of being a teenage star like it's like uh, uh, John Travolta in Greece you know like after a point of time when he comes down and picks up that point like the teenage hero who can dance who can sing and maybe you know like people uh, get into that dramatic mood yeah. he still holds that space which is not we don't have it's too not much, go uh, anywhere, yes. too much romantic heroes but then Rahman is actually part of family because uh, when I did my first film, Island Express in Kerala Cafe Anthology, mm -hmm. uh, Rahman was one of the actors who was in the, yes. uh, um, in, in, in the, in the star cast and uh, I had narrated the story over the phone and we share a very good friendship and a relationship and uh, Rahman actually made his comeback through Black which is my mentor Ranjit's film. Yes. Black was a film which uh, was, if you can call, after a gap he was busy in Tamil and some other languages. Maybe yes. he was not focusing too much on Malayalam because of a lot of factors. Uh, but then I think Black made his comeback and also Rajamanigam, which Anwar did, it, it made his point very clear. And he did Mumbai Police. He's been doing consistently good films over a period of time. Yes. Rahman, uh, for me, uh, more than an actor, more than uh, anything, he's a very close uh, friend and also uh, uh, holds the status of an elder brother. So. Working with him is comfortable. Okay. You're not just a script writer of this movie, you're also acting in this movie. So tell us more about your hair. It's like I act um, mostly in films which my friends do. Like Subil is a friend. Mm -hmm. um, this, the character, whichever, whatever I'm doing in this movie doesn't, you know, like it doesn't uh, uh, call for a major stellar, uh, mm -hmm. that sort of a performance. I'm just walking through the character and it's a supporting character. Adding on to the uh, entire spectrum of uh, certain situations, I'm playing a guy who is um, having this, uh, uh, he's an advocate uh, character, yeah. but then he has a stammer. Oh, okay. So it's like, uh, this guy, whenever he gets into the court, um, he, he sees the picture of uh, Mahatma Gandhi, he can't lie. Oh. So he stammers, uh, which, is, uh, uh, which is one hurdle which he wants to cross because the character, uh, is uh, coming from a family which is legendary of uh, having a very famous legal uh, uh, luminary as his grandfather and he wants to you know like most of these people uh, go under the shade at least the second generation third generation mm -hmm. if they don't really take it up they, they have to live up to their expectations so this guy has to he's working with a stammer so it's a, it's a kind of a very different uh, a uh, small character which I chose to do in this film mm -hmm. and uh, in fact like in all the other films like Spirit and Bauti where I worked as a replacement actor in this film also was this character was meant to be done by someone else. Yeah. So in the previous work and this work either random compare but what is the difference or what is the change that happened? Uh, in fact uh, I did write a couple of scripts in between uh -huh. um, the time which I take to write and the uh, real time which it takes to be translated into the screen mm -hmm. um, are different. Like Netuli was a work which I did a uh, year and a half back. I have completed two scripts in between. Uh, those are two films which will take some more time to reach the screen because 
we are doing a six months uh, pre-production work for the those films. You know, like they are both are epic films and. Uh, See, uh, Netoli was a relief film for me because after this uh, big film, as you may call it by its uh, technical crew or star cast, after this Urumi film, I wanted to do something which is experimentative about the form of uh, the art of screenplay writing. So, this was uh, this uh, director, VK Prakash. I know him for the last uh, eight years. I've been working with him on different assignments uh, other than the feature films. But then uh, it was a long pending desire from his side also to do something uh, apart from normal. Like the film uh, generated a lot of discussion in terms of its acceptability mm -hmm. and also uh, about the structure of the film. But then it was purely treated as an experiment done it within a very small budget mm -hmm. and also making the producer very safe in its uh, uh, production cost and stuff like that. And it was meant to be a, a film uh, projected towards an audience who would really appreciate or dissect or criticize a film in its artistic uh, form. So basically, Fahad as an actor, mm -hmm. uh, his uh, understanding about the character was a primary thing, uh, the primary reason uh, why the film took off. Because if I had bounced the idea and he had rejected it, I don't think any one other actor in the industry right now would have dared to do such a role because it demands a kind of bifurcation within. Uh, a point of uh, the film, uh, Fahad was so much into this artistic mind that he has to play the split the same day. So this complex portrayal of doing two characters the same day uh, without being in the conventional double role stuff where one character is absolutely inside the mind space. Like, there are a lot of uh, films in the Western world or the European world where people have experimented with this inner world and the outer world and the conflict within. Mm -hmm. But then, uh, when you can understand uh, Malayalam cinema and uh, its uh, progression, the experimentation which has been done in the literary world, half of that the impact which is done in the literary world was never taken into cinema because cinema is an expensive area to experiment. But then when the director comes forward with a mind and he's ready to do a film like that and the producer comes in and the actors come in, it gives an artistic kick. But the thing is that uh, uh, I'm personally very happy that I wrote uh, Natuli Yurichi Kaminala because it had a wacky title, it had a different sort of level of performances and it also generated a discussion where people also hate me for that. Uh, and your new project, what inspires you to write, sir? Like, I mean, uh, starting with Natuli or Chari Meenalla or uh, now you're doing Indi Satya National Pariksha, what is the, your inspiration to write? I think it's a very basic question. I always wanted to do that and uh, I think it's very instinctive for mm -hmm. me. And uh, film, uh, in all its complexity, Writing is one area which I love to do and I get engrossed uh, the, in the process. So, uh, from the time uh, I've been practicing cinema, I've been working with a writer-director and uh, I was more involved in the writing aspect of the filmmaking than the technical aspect of it. Even though we get a basic training in the uh, filmmaking process also, I'm more interested in how a film is uh, coined from the mind, translated to the paper and uh, using the cinematographic tool, how you capture through the actor, how you make that interpretation. So I'm more interested in that aspect of writing and how do I write is a basic question, I don't know. Uh, I think um, it comes as images and it comes as situations. Uh, uh, the basic idea of a film uh, is a moment which is full in itself and it gives you that uh, extent you know like you work on that idea which you can feel that growing 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 as you start accumulating people into that process it becomes a bandwagon where at the end of the process you have a whole team with that idea so i really enjoy that process of germination to the culmination and you now said that you you love you enjoy writing uh, what about the other two fields you are an actor and a director too so what do you prefer more is it to sit and write or to act or to direct um, uh, see, performing uh, uh, is a very complex uh, 
area because uh, you are right you you are carrying yourself your mind and your body along with the as a tool mm-hmm. along with the mind and mind and the idea of a totally different team of people but for me i was extremely lucky uh, to be part of a movie like spirit where i shared the screen space with someone like uh, uh, you know like someone like in the in the gigantic uh, image of uh, <laughs> yes. mohanlal or who is also my childhood hero and uh, also in bahuti where mamuti mamuka uh, where both these characters were written by a person who knows me very well, mm-hmm. who knows me off screen for more than 12 years so both these characters it's not about what i do it's about the characters that is special about uh, the films so as an actor i think um, it's not about the attributes of an actor in me but the attributes of that character which helped me to interpret that character mm-hmm. very well but it may not happen in every cases because i may not enjoy doing a, a role where i want to do a particular kind of a role like a police officer or a doctor or, or maybe a complex uh, psycho a person in a complex psychological state and taking it as a profession no i am not into it i am into certain characters where uh it becomes such that i am part of the team and i enjoy being part of the team interpreting that role walking along with that role and uh, also trying to find that extra stretch where i can find the shade of something in me which might come out which might or which may or may not come out but then in all these two in 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 all these films which i have done what i found is that Uh, there is a lot of help from the writing side also which mm-hmm. helps me a lot and when the writing side is absent see for example if you ask me my role in this film is in, in this film which i mean it's, it's the most poorly written <laughs> character because the director keeps on asking me what is happening to this character so i tell him i can't write for myself so i am not very good in writing for myself but then i would definitely enjoy when someone is finding that extra shade in me and trying to say that yes of course you can do it then it may be in so your directorial venture that is island express was much appreciated so can we expect more works from you uh, as a director i've been getting a lot of offers to do a film because we also own a production house uh, oh. platform is capital theater and recently we have uh, coined this platform called gold coin okay which is producing films like munareepa and also part of nyan but then um, um, you You should also be knowing that I've been working, uh, associating quite closely with August Cinema. Yes. I've got a cu- couple of offers to direct, but then uh, right now I am full with my writing assignments and focusing more on writing, mm-hmm. uh, which is you know like uh, maybe maybe by the end of this year or maybe by the beginning of next year I might land into something which is really challenging and uh, because Island Express after Island Express what I found was that Island Express was a a uh, very very challenging uh, space to do the debut because uh, i'm positioned along with nine other yes. filmmakers who are quite well known and maybe uh, experimented their art of uh, filmmaking in different levels and i was a newcomer so basically as a debutant i think that was a biggest challenge and also a fantastic opportunity to showcase but then uh i think island express came out with a lot of uh, edit uh, which was not from my side so that actually made the director in me to take a back seat because i thought uh the first work it it had actually created a little bit of hurt in me so i want to do a film where i'm really sure the producer and the people along with it would definitely give me a conducive space to do the kind of film that i really want What is the kind of film that you really want to make? No, I'm working mostly on uh, films which also have a, a, an entertainment value. So I'm looking at something um, which uh, uh, anyone would understand, mm-hmm. anyone would enjoy, and anyone would not mind watching it for a second time. And finally, uh, what sort of an audience does this movie and this Atya Nikshana Pariksha Gal cater to? Malayalis. All, 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 sort of, all sorts of all sorts of malayalis because <laughs> this is a very mallu film 
uh, told in an Indian perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, this film uh, might not find a big uh, audience in uh, outside languages like Natoli did or Urmi did because of its uh, universal sort of content. This is a very Mallu film mm -hmm. and I think Mallus will definitely enjoy the film uh, because it, is, it has taken a lot from other language films also like uh, the, the, the flavor of the, we don't have a proper legal thriller films happening other than the courtroom dramas which has been there. So this basically talks about uh, people and the people involved in making decisions which might uh, do good to them or for the society. So basically it's, it, it's a fun ride in that perspective. So I think the film caters to the current uh, political and social uh, situation and how emotionally the Malayali takes it. Is there anything else that you want to say to the viewers about the movie? And See, I would uh, like to tell you about a, a fantastic moment in this uh, filmmaking process. Yes. The film has uh, four songs, which is done by M.G. Srikumar. And uh, uh, it, 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 it's a pleasant surprise when you find something for the first time. Mm -hmm. See, uh, I went to talk about this character who is a musician. And in the process of conversation, I just bounced the idea to Sri Gutan Chetan about acting in this movie and he agreed. He is not acting as M.G. Srikumar with his patented smile or his... Uh, <laughs> patented uh, uniformed uh, appearances yes. or whatever. He is doing a character in this film and he has amazed me. Wow. And uh, that is one area, you know, like, wh if whatever or anything ever go goes wrong with this film, this one scene would not because of this. This is the first time that a person whom I know for the last maybe 15, 16 years, uh, he has never acted in a, he has never come in front of a movie camera yes. ever before. Yes. So being part of that process gives me a big thing and I think all the Malayalis who, who love him and his songs would definitely look forward to his acting definitely. perspective also. Maybe the film would have, would get forgotten for his umpteen number of reasons but I think in the historical perspective, <laughs> I think this one thing would definitely be a landmark because I think in television, I think he is a household figure. So yes, he is. We'll definitely, you know, kind of see him. So I, I'm just looking forward to that also. Yes, so wishing you all the success, the movie, all the success. Thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you so us. much. Thank you.